welcome ladies and gentlemen to Thursday Night Rebellion. I am of course owner, CEO, commentator, CM Puma. We welcome this capacity crowd. We hope you are ready for a huge card here tonight in Dallas, Texas. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a tournament for the SWF World Heavyweight Championship. And this whole card is filled with round one matches for that championship as well as the women's championship. Start things off here in round one. It is going to be Jay Wolf versus Philip Young. Making his way down the, to the ring. He is by far the biggest superstar here in SWF. It is Jay Wolf. And his opponent. He is a newcomer here to SWF, the inventor of the Puma Greek. It is Philip Young. Now, Philip Young, he's got his hands full here tonight, drawing that unlucky contender in Jay Wolf. But we'll have to see can the newcomer overcome Jay Wolf, who has been with the SWF since the beginning, or will the veteran take care of this rookie? We are about to find out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd is ready. Jay Wolf versus Philip Young. The bell rings, and look at just the sheer size difference in Jay Wolf as he throws Philip down to the ground and a big kick right to the side of the head. And things are not looking good for Philip Young already in this matchup, just less than a minute in. Wolf now, he's got Young by the throat. Oh my. And a shot to the stomach, lifting Young off of his feet. Have you ever seen such a shot like that? Philip Young doesn't look like he is in a good way at all. Big disc is no. Some fight left in Philip. And just as I say that, he gets tossed to the ground after a reversal and a second kick to the side of the head. My gosh, Philip Young's gonna need proto uh, concussion protocol. Look at the choke slam bomb from Jay Wolf. My goodness, and he is unrelenting. 
and a shoulder block out of desperation, I'm sure, from Philip Young. Young now, he's gonna toss the big man across the ring and a big flying forearm to the face of Wolf. Following it up, drop kick to the back of the head. My goodness. Philip Young now apparently is fired up. He is in there and getting ready. Oh my gosh, a clothesline. A monstrous clothesline. Philip Young lays on the ground as Wolf decides to lay the boots to him here. And a reversal from Young. Shot to the stomach, but no. That giant dome of Jay Wolf right onto the head. And what a flapjack. That's high up as seven feet. Then another probably three feet or so as he goes high into the air. And Philip Young slams to the mat. He then gets a big, I'm going to guess, size 15 or 16 shoe across his chest. My goodness. Jay Wolf is in full control. Look at this. He's going to pick him up and drop him right down onto that Rebellion logo, center of the ring. Not much else the ref can do. And look at this. Oh! Oh! A big shot to the stomach. And oh my goodness. What a move there by Philip Young. He pulls that one completely out of nowhere. And he takes the big man for a ride. A second German suplex. And then a third one. My goodness. I don't think I've ever seen Jay Wolf handled like that. Young takes the second to taunt. And that might not have been the best idea as Wolf capitalizes. And he just begins to put a beating. Look at this. Oh, man. Face first into the mat. And Jay Wolf takes a second here to taunt the crowd and let Phillip know he is in control. Into the corner goes Phillip. Wolf now spinning him around. He wants to look him. Right in the eyes, oh boy. What do we got here? Sending Phillip across the ring, jeez. Oh my gosh, Phillip Young has gotta be dead. He knocked him clear across the ring and going for the pin, one, two, no. I, I don't even know what to say. Where is Phillip Young finding the strength to kick out? And now Jay Wolf. Begging, begging up, and here we go. He's got Philip up, the full moon. The full moon from Wolf, and now I would stay down, Philip Young. I'd stay down, my man. There is no way he is going to take it easy, and that is going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Wolf has advanced to the second round with Quite a victory, a decisive victory at that over Philip Young. My goodness. And what is got Adam? Come on, Jay. Oh my gosh, he's just he's a rookie, his first match here, and the big man is destroying Jay Wolf. My gosh. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, another round one matchup for that SWF heavyweight championship it's the hitman james lanza taking on tyler adam making his way to the ring he is the hitman as the lights go out the man making his way to the ring has got Tyler Adams in his sights, that's for sure. It is James Lanza.
and his opponent. Another one of the bigger gentlemen here in SWF. You see it right there. It is Tyler Adams. Now both of these gentlemen, rookies here in the SWF, so they've got a lot to prove to each other and to myself, if, of course, if I like what I see. A lot of good things can happen for the winner of these matches and possibly the loser, depending on how well those matches turn out. So let's, uh, as Tyler Adams gets into the ring and climbs that turnbuckle, let's get to our second match of the night and second round one tournament matchup. Lands is ready. Tyler Adams is ready. The ref rings the bell, and just like that, oh my gosh, the hitman goes after Adams and immediately takes him down with a clothesline. And no, Adams is not going to take those shots lightly. He takes Lanza to the ground and a boot to the chest. He's picking up the hitman. Adams did not like the match starting off like that. Big scoop slam. And now working the neck of Lanza. Tyler Adams not wasting any time, but he catches a knee to the chest. Oh, what looked like a reverse so ended up being a massive clothesline to the back of the head of Adams. But he's going to be able to get out of that, that attack there. The elbow shots right to the top of the head. Adams isn't having that. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Starts with a hammerlock and ends with a clothesline. My gosh. Adams, big DDT. That'll scramble your brain for sure. He's going to drag Lanza out. Go for the pin early on in this matchup. And no, just a one count. And a... Big elbow right to the forehead of Lanza. Seemingly has a target on his head instead of the other way around as Adams goes to town. And now Adams has him up in the carry. Snake eyes into the turnbuckle. Oh my gosh. Lanza just bouncing all over and finally down into the corner. And Adams rakes those boots. Oh my goodness, running straight through the face of James Lanza. My goodness. Tyler Adams is being absolutely brutal. Lanza needs something big to get back in it, and that might be it. A nice DDT reversal kick to the back. Oh my. Lanza trying to get back in this. Shots to the side and a big forearm right to the face. Spinning Tyler Adams all the way around. And Lanza going way across the ring and begging Adams to get up to his feet. Daring Adams to get up. And he looked like what was going for uh, maybe a Meteora from the second rope, but catches him nonetheless. And Lanza tries to capitalize just a one count. My goodness. Both of these gentlemen trying to get out of this matchup as quickly as possible. I don't blame him one bit. You want to move on to the further rounds and a big knee drop to the forehead. You want to move on to those further rounds in the tournament quickly. Get your spot so you can get the most rest. He's got Adams up and he puts him in the, oh my goodness, the strength of Lanza. Puts him in the corner and just throws him to the, towards the center of the ring. And Lanza now, look at this. Stomp right on the face. My goodness. And now he's got... Oh! Nice snapmare. And no! Not going to drop the elbow on Adams. Adams reverses with an elbow to the face. Got him up. Oh my god, a brain buster. Holy cow. He's going to pick up Lanza. And a big clothesline. The virtu virtuous... 
contract. Excuse me, I couldn't speak there for a second. May that might not have been it. That might not have been it because Adams doesn't. Holy cow, the cutter from Adams. And he goes for the count and just a one count. Wow. A huge discus, discus clothesline and a cutter. And Lanza is able to kick out at one. Holy cow. Up he goes. He's got Lanza on his shoulders. And he drops him hard onto the mat. Head and neck, shoulder first. Adams smartly pulling Lanza away from the ropes. Is this going to be it? Is Tyler Adams moving on to the second round? And yes, he is. Wow. That was a huge move to finish off that matchup. And Tyler Adams, ladies and gentlemen, defeats James Lanza. And what do we have here? Lanza says, I don't want any, I don't want any beef. That was a great match. Tyler Adams shakes his hand. Now this is fantastic to see. Great job and sportsmanship from both of these competitors. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Adams. Coming up next, it is the final men's matchup we are going to see tonight in round one of this World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. It is the very scary kid, Hades, taking on another veteran of SWF, Hunter King. Lights have gone down, ladies and gentlemen. The crow calls. That means only one thing. Making his way to the ring. From your darkest and deepest fears, it is the man only known as Kid Hades. Entire arena is black, but you can definitely point out Kid Hades with those glowing horns carrying the skull of what can only be assumed is his previous opponent. Climbing over the top rope. My God, would you look at this guy. Hunter King, I hope he's ready for a fight. The lights dim, and out comes another SWF veteran. Fired up as the pyro goes off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Hunter King. As I said, Hunter King is a former SWF roster member. Uh, we've got a, a pretty good uh, roster for SWF Rebellion. Majority of the people are rookies here in SWF, so we only have a handful of people that have been SWF, PWA, NXT. All the different names, but it's all the same. Hunter King being one of those gentlemen and is he going to follow the paths of Jay Wolf and get a victory for the veteran side or is Kid Hades going to get a victory here for the rookies let's find out let's see who's going to move on to the second round The bell rings and Hades comes out immediately 
and he's gonna face plant Hunter King. My goodness. Hunter King, though, with a nice reversal to the dead man, and a, sh oh my goodness, a float over DDT hard onto the skull of Kid Hades. Hades now, no, goes for what looked like a neck breaker. Hunter King is able to wiggle out and lands a huge super kick to the face of Kid Hades, and, and Hades, my friends, looks to be in trouble off the ropes and a big drop kick single leg drop kicks what that looked like as hunter king goes to the top rope holy toledo breaking out the high risk stuff early on in this matchup 450 kind of uh, barely missed but also barely got him and look at this hunter king's picking hades up center of the ring drops him down for a power bomb and just like that, he's going to go for the pin and no, just a one count. My goodness. This match has already been somewhat brutal. And now not even a one count now for Hades. But it takes a lot of strength to kick out. Especially with a man who's uh, well over 200 pounds in the pin position on top of you. It takes a lot of strength and energy to kick out and a basement drop kick to the knee of Hunter King. Oh, nice leg drop. A little old school action right there. Second rope and a flipping senton right to the body of Hunter King. And just as I was about to say Hades is in control, King reverses, pushing Hades off. This is quite, uh, quite egotistical of, of Hunter but he gets him up in a powerbomb position oh my goodness and Hades is able to punch his way out of it but not quick enough on the draw he goes face first into the turnbuckle and Hunter King sitting him right up top my goodness look at this hook and ladder my goodness from the top the ref, I don't know, is telling him to get down? I don't know. Hunter King again showing off towards the crowd instead of going after his opponent. And that might prove to be a bad move as he goes head first into that turnbuckle pad. Kid Hades totally just decimating Hunter King. He stumbles out to the center of the ring. My goodness. That head must be throbbing in just a one count there from Hunter King. Knee right to the kidneys there in the lower back. And just like that, King's gonna send him off with a reversal. Forearm to the face. Headlock now by King. And a big knee to Hades and he got him up. Backbreaker, my gosh. Hunter King, ladies and gentlemen, is fired up. He's dropping those 12 to 6 elbows right across the shoulder and chest area of Kid Hades. And look at that. Look at the strength. A deadlift power bomb. Wow. What a move there. And a reversal from Kid Hades. The mist. Mist. Kid Hades sprays him with the poison mist. He's got him hooked up. Oh, chicken wing face buster from Hades as he's going to drag Hunter King out. Ref gets down to count. Wow, just a one count. My goodness. The poison mist blinds Hunter King. He gets hit with the chicken wing face buster and is able to kick out. Here we go. Hades sets him up. Go to Hades center of the ring that's got to be it for hunter king my friend it looks like you will not be moving on to the second round the rookie gets one over the veteran with that pop-up cutter to go to hades hard oh hunter king wisely rolls out of the ring the lights dim and kid hades sits in the center 
my goodness, would you look at this man? All right, we need to get the lights back on. This is not. I'm I'm freaked out. Our now. next matchup, ladies and gentlemen, is something we have not seen in the SWF, PWA, or NXT, dating back five years. We finally, ladies and gentlemen, have a women's division. These two lovely ladies. I'm afraid to say anything other than that about Rachel Walker. That's for sure. They are in the first round for the women's championship. It's Rachel Walker. Taking on Selena. Making her way down to the ring as the stage fills with smoke. She looks pretty in pink, but ladies and gentlemen, that is a terrifying woman right there. And as I said, first female competitors ever in the SWF, and these two ladies get the uh, esteemed privilege of being the first two women to ever fight in an SWF arena. Ladies and gentlemen, this demonic being, this Barbie doll shaped demon, is Rachel Walker. My goodness, what a bizarre creature is Rachel Walker. So ladies and gentlemen, on the ops, absolute opposite side of that coin, we have coming to the ring the lovely Selena. It's Rachel Walker, ladies and gentlemen, taking on Selena. The ref rings the bell and they hook up center of the ring and immediately Selena goes after and face plants Rachel Walker. Now here's a fact about Selena. She is the, I'm gonna say love interest, I'm gonna say partner in crime of Calypso. We will see him later in this tournament. And Rachel Walker, can this the same can be this can oh, I can't speak ladies and gentlemen the same can be said about Rachel Walker 
but with Ryan Riley. Now Ryan Riley is another cat who is just terrifying all of the SWF in the backstage area, the fans, this group of demons, Ryan Riley and Rachel Walker really really bring a darkness to SWF that has never been here before and then we have guys like Kid Hades who helped that out look at Selena off the ropes and geez what a big splash and she wastes no time going all the way to the top Rachel Walker oh she thought better of it Rachel was getting to her feet and a nice reverse DDT from Selena and she's going to capitalize on that. And the ref takes his time, it looks like. Good grief. Selena, oh, takes a shot to the stomach by the demonic Barbie. Takes her down, shot after shot after shot. My goodness. Rachel Walker is brutal. Up top, and oh boy. Stomps hard right on the chest and stomach of Selena. Reversal though, how is she even breathing? Selena's got the head now of Rachel and a snapmare. Pushing her down, knee, oh, over and over and over to the chest. My gosh, there's no way that feels any kind of good. You can't really protect yourself from that either. Just a one count from Selena. And again, Rachel Walker takes Selena down and starts wailing away with those big rights. Selena tries to get out, but Rachel not having any of that, dragging her lifeless body off the ropes. Oh my goodness. Just punts Selena right in the side of the head. Wow. My gosh, how crazy. And look at Selena going up top. Perhaps going for the move she wasn't able to before. Shooting star press. Wow. She laid it all on the line for the shooting star press. And no, just the two count. Maybe, a, maybe just a one. Knee again, and she drops those knees. If Rachel's going for those tackle and punches, Selena's going for the knees. Off the ropes. Uh, looked like Selena changed her mind at the last second, and it cost her Rachel with a shot to the gut. Oh, nice reversal there from Selena. And this, these gals look like they've known each other forever. Reversing moves left and right. They know what's coming up next. And Selena gets sent over the top rope by Rachel with a big clothesline. Rachel telling Selena to get to her feet. Oh, boy. And, okay. Looks like Selena might have been a little too close to the ropes. Whoa. Did you see the strength of Rachel Walker? My gosh. Lifting Selena up now. Back into the ring. Shot to the gut by Selena. And look at this. Got her up. Is this a gory bomb? Yes, it is. The cosmic clash from Selena. And now she's begging her to get to her feet. And a, oh my God. A knee followed by a neck breaker. Selena heading up top. That can only mean one thing. 630, the falling star. She jumps on Rachel and goes for the pin. One, two, three. What a sequence of events there at the end. The gory bomb followed by that knee and neck breaker. And then the falling star. Wow. What a matchup between these two women. And is Rachel gonna, is gonna shake the hand of Selena? She does. Rachel Walker 
shows respect for Selena. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the final matchup here on our very first Rebellion show. It is another round one matchup for the Women's Division Championship. It is Veronica Haas versus Dawn Carr. Making her way to the ring as the fire shoots towards the rafters. Look at the face of Veronica Haas. Oh my gosh. We have quite a few demons here in SWF. And to my surprise, to su my, excuse me, my surprise, they're female. And you know a female demon potentially could be the worst kind. Veronica Haas, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring. Look at that face as we get a close-up. My goodness. And she has just gone crazy. I do not want to be in the ring with her. Dawn Carr definitely has her hands full, I believe. And her opponent making her way to the ring. It is Dawn Carr, and she is fired up as well just in a different, more positive way. And you better keep that positivity, Don, because Veronica Haas looks like she's nothing to play with. Here we go, Don Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Veronica Haas, they meet center of the ring and it Don Carr first. Haas went for a punch. Don hits her with a vertical suplex, my gosh. These ladies putting on matches just as good, if not better than some of the gentlemen. Oh, face first. While Veronica Haas looks like her face doesn't mean much to her and all she cares about is causing pain and devastation to her opponent. Anything could happen and the tide could turn at any moment. Dawn Carr seems to be in control as she climbs up to the second turnbuckle and is waiting for Veronica Haas to stand up to her feet. Veronica gets out of the way and runs underneath Dawn catches her, sends her across the ring. And what a Thez press. Oh! And just slams the head of Dawn down to the mat. My goodness. Very good ring awareness there by Veronica Haas as she dives under, goes underneath. Dawn Carr coming off the second rope. She's scratching the eyes now. She's going to drag Dawn away from the ropes. And Instead of going for a pin, drags her away and starts laying on the headbutts. Holy cow. Don tries to roll out of the way. Whoa, what a reversal. It looked like Veronica was going 
for a spinning scoop slam, and Don reverses it into a DDT shot, a shot to the face, that low drop kick, and a leg drop. She pulled him or pulled Veronica out. I thought she might go for the pin, but no. Hits the leg drop, big knee to the back, and a oh, knee right to the face of Don, and Veronica goes for the pin, but just a one count. Like I said earlier, it takes a lot of effort to kick out of those things. Oh, neck breaker. And if you can get your opponent to use up a, as much energy as possible, that might just be the advantage you need. Dawn now, nope. Reversal into a body drop, my gosh. And a knee to the face of Dawn Carr. Veronica just, oh my goodness. She don't give any shits about your face. She's gonna do everything she can to wreck it. And now she's cranking away at the neck. Get a crick in your neck, boys and girls, and you're not gonna be able to function. Really twisting the neck, my gosh. Slamming her back down to the mat. Now Veronica goes up to the second rope. Yells at Dawn to stand up, and a big drop kick. My gosh, those boots hit her right in the face. And just a two count, or a one count, excuse me. That double boots right to the chin of Dawn Carr. Wow. And a shot to the stomach, though. Dawn, look at this. Pele kick from Dawn. The Razorback strike from Don Carr. And here she goes looking for the Texarkana. She hits it. There it is. Oh my goodness. And a rope break it looked like. Good for Rachel, or excuse me. Good for Veronica Haas. Look at this, look at this dirty pin. And the ref doesn't see it. Oh, and a two count. Wow. Good awareness there by Veronica. She reverses, gets that DDT. My gosh. What a reversal. It looked like Veronica was going for some sort of snapmare. Don reverses, hits her with the sit out face buster. And look at this. And a, oh man. Maybe a little payback drop kick there right to the back of the head. Don goes down for the pin. The ref is right there to count. No, just a one count. Shot to the stomach now. DDT. And she is not done yet. And a similar reversal by Veronica. She goes headbutt. And that doesn't matter. Veronica, go, I mean, excuse me, Don going for what looked like a rest hold. Veronica's not having that. Gets out of it. Shots to the stomach. Knee smash. Wow. Snapmare. Knee smash. This could be it. Nice reversal, though. Veronica on one knee. Carr has Veronica by the hair. Puts her up, up against the ropes now. Oh, boy. Oh, reversal there from Veronica, but she catches a shot to the face. Look at this. Dream Street. Oh, my gosh. She landed that thing so hard, and she's going to pick her up instead of going for the pin, and she pays the price. Veronica has her up. Air raid, crash, neck breaker. That could be it for Dawn Carr. The ref gets down to count, and it is... Wow. And Veronica Haas just taunting her opponent. What a matchup that was, ladies and gentlemen. Veronica Haas gets the victory with that air raid crash neck breaker. And Don's still in the ring. Holy cow. What a matchup and what a card for our first card here in Rebellion. 
Let's take a look at the matchups again as we recap. Jay Wolf wins against Philip Young. And then after that match, Jay Wolf attacks Philip Young. Jay Wolf, like I said, the biggest man in SWF. He might be a force to reckon with. In our second matchup, Tyler Adams gets the victory over James Lanza. Both men shake hands in the center of the ring in a show of sportsman, uh, of good sportsmanship. Tyler Adams wins. Kid Hades, with a wonderful sequence at the end of that matchup, gets the victory over the veteran in Hunter King in our very first women's matchup ever here in Rebellion. Selena gets a victory over the dem demonic Barbie doll Rachel Walker. Selena, the very first woman to ever have a match and win a match here in the SWF. And then with that air raid neckbreaker, Veronica Haas has put Don Carr out to pasture. Selena will now face Veronica later on down the line as they head towards that women's championship. Well, folks, that is going to be it here for Rebellion. Thank you all so much for watching. We've got more Tournament 1, excuse me, Round 1 tournament matches coming for that men's heavyweight championship as well as some more women's championship matchups. And keep an eye on the channel as we have dark matches throughout the week here on Rebellion.